just want to start out by saying thank you to everybody that's liked, commented, subscribed on Instagram, YouTube. It all means the world to me. I just hit 5,000 on Instagram. I never, ever, ever in a million years thought I would get that far. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. I just, I, I can't thank you enough. But the point of the video today, we are finally starting to get back to doing things to the truck, hopefully. Um, I do want to touch on real quick. I thought I curbed a wheel yesterday and I didn't, thank God. You can see there's definitely some brown tire marks here where my tire at least sticks out enough to where I don't curb a wheel. I was gonna be so upset because somebody was driving like an idiot. But just that proves my point. I can't curb wheels unless I've really hit something, so. But main point of the video today, goo gone, fishing line, somewhat of a microfiber. We're gonna be taking this off the truck. I've done previously the Silverado and the LT on the truck. Those actually came off. I had some time with those. The little dealership dealership tag that was on here was a, a pain to get off and it even scratched a little bit. But I really have seen a couple trucks without this on it and I'm really liking how it looks. So I figured I'd do a quick video of me taking it off. It is just some 3M material behind it. It's pretty thick. It's probably about a millimeter thick, but this is the way that I do it just because I don't have a 3M buffing wheel or anything like that. So I went and got some goo gone that I've had from, you know, like AutoZone or something. And we're gonna take some fish in line and get it off. So we're gonna start, a little goo gone. Cut just a little hole in it. This is gonna loosen up the 3M material behind it. Whoa. Disclaimer, no, this will not hurt the truck, but what I'm doing, what you saw me just do, I'm putting some goo gone behind it to help loosen up that 3M. If you go to put the fishing line behind it without putting the goo gone behind it, it's not gonna come off very easy. The goo gone's gonna loosen up that 3M material behind it and allow me to just kind of just pull right through it and it's literally gonna come right off. So I've let the goo gone sit for let the Gugon sit for a couple of minutes. It's gonna loosen up that 3M, like I said. Take your fishing line, wrap it around your fingers a little bit so you can get some good, good pull strength with it. I'm gonna wash the truck pretty good afterwards just so this doesn't stay on, but it, it won't hurt the paint. So literally you can just go back and forth with it. I guess we might need to let it sit a little bit longer. Yeah, we're gonna let it sit a little bit longer. Citrus power. Smells like oranges. Yeah. All right, let's try this again. This one is not gonna be fun. There we go. This is not gonna be fun. Now you really just go back and forth and eventually you'll get all the way through. Mm. Awesome. This is why we put gloves on. As you can see, I did have to double up on the fishing line. Fishing line I had is not strong enough. Just the single brain, the single, you know, strand. I had to double up on it. I've gotten all the way to this part, all the way to this part. Let's go ahead and knock it out. All right, guys. So probably, what would you say, like 45 minutes? Probably like 45 minutes of fighting, a bunch of fishing, fishing line, a bunch of goo gone. 
I finally, finally have gotten through it. I've spent about an hour, and this is this is going to be the removal. Oh man! So for any of you GM guys with this same body style truck, that's what the bottom looks like. That is a solid 3M. That's a good. I mean, that's that's not thin. That's going to be really fun. This might end up having to be a two-part video because that's that's not happening tonight. I've only got about an hour of daylight left. And that is some serious, serious stuff. I apologize. I'm probably going to call it now. This will be part one of this video because this is not going to get finished up tonight. Gugon, debadge removal, whatever you want to call it. Definitely sorry to keep y'all waiting. Hopefully you'll stay tuned. Please stay tuned for the next video. That's going to be really fun to get off. I might invest in a 3M thing to get that off. I don't know how what I'm going to do right now. Leave a comment, like below. Wish me luck.